You know, everybody talks about pan optics, about the fish. If you can see here, we've got some rock structure showing up. So a lot of times with the pan optics live, other than fishing, you know, to see the fish, seeing that structure and being able to pan that front of that trolling motor back and forwards to see what's out there in front of you will help you find that structure and with the structure helps you find those fish. So like I said, and the thing that I try to do, I run it on manual. As you can see, I keep my bottom content right down on the very bottom. I want the most pixels I can possibly get on that screen showing me what I've got. I've only got it shot out to about 25 feet and I've got the bottom down to about 16 feet right there and we're in 14 foot. So with that there, like I said, I can stay right on the bottom and see what's out there. You know, one thing we've done out here is we come through here with the, the, the side scan and we've seen all these big giant boulders out here. So we know we got this big rock flat and we've been fishing it. I'm using a moving bait, I'm using a rage swimmer, but with the Pan Optics Live, it's another tool that helps me. I can take that trolling motor and I can pan around there. I can see those big boulders which these fish are holding around. And it's just another tool that you can use to help you capitalize on it and find find the structure, find the fish, and, and catch a few more on it. There you go, that's what I like said. Use that Pan Optics Live. Seen that boulder over there? Make the cast. There's the connection right there. So like I said, by using the Pan Optics Live, the side scan, the whole deal, like I said, we put the whole package together out here today on this rock flat, finding these boulders, finding the right bait that they want. Like I said, you can see they wanted to eat that bait. Rage swimmer, lose, seagar, can't go wrong. Ends up with a big brown fish, loving it. <laughs>